this class we discuss about the operation of a high pressure sodium vapor lamp early inventors of sodium vapor lamp know that with high pressure in the arc tube better efficiency could be achieved the problem was that there was no material that could stand the high pressure high temperature and the corrosive properties of sodium a researcher robert l gobel of general electric developed a material called lucalex lucalex was a commercial term for aluminum oxide his work helped pave the way for william luden kurt schmidt and elmer homenel to invent high pressure sodium vapor lamp general electric first developed this lamp and it came on the market in 1964 The lamp is an improvement over the low pressure sodium vapor lamp in that it has more acceptable color with the great efficiency of the sodium lamp the better color rendering comes with the bit of sacrifice it has less efficiency than low pressure sodium vapor lamp in the 1980s general electric engineers further improved the lamp efficiency and life this is a figure of a high pressure sodium vapor lamp sodium vapor lamps are suitable only for ac supply hence we need a ballast here a choke is connected it requires high voltage at the time of starting hence we go for a high reactance transformer or an auto transformer to heat the cathode hence it is called as cathode heating transformer high pressure sodium vapor lamp contain two glass tubes one is outer glass tube which is made up of ordinary glass inner glass tube or a discharge tube is made up of polycrystalline translucent glass translucent means allowing light pass through diffusely the tube is coated with the aluminum oxide that is a discharge tube is coated with the aluminum oxide inside the tube mercury plus sodium plus xenon gas is present Here, high pressure sodium vapor lamps are smaller than low pressure sodium vapor lamp. Its size is very small compared to low pressure sodium vapor lamp. Xenon is colorless, odorless, dense, and noble gas. The outer shell is evacuated for maintaining high degree of vacuum and high temperature for increasing the life of the lamp. This lamp requires a ballast, the igniter, to heat the cathode. A capacitor is connected across the supply to improve the power factor. Here, a capacitor is connected to improve the power factor. Generally, its operating power factor is low. It produces dark pink glow when it first struck, and a pink orange light when warmed. It produces a bluish white light. This is formed the mercury glowing before the sodium is completely warmed. Now we will see the advantages and disadvantages of high pressure sodium vapor lamp. Number one, high lamp efficacy, hence the energy consumption is low. Number two, long life and low light depreciation. Number three, high lumen output. Number four, good visual acuity. Number five, suitable for fog, dust, and rainfall conditions. These are all the advantages. Disadvantages are number one, it requires ballast. Number two, it takes seven to ten minutes to give full lumen output. Number three, it is costly. Number four, it requires periodic maintenance. These are all the disadvantages of high pressure sodium vapor lamp. Applications of high pressure sodium vapor lamp. Number 1 it is 7 times as efficient as incandescent lamp. Number 2 suitable for indoor outdoor applications. Number 3 it is mainly used for flood lighting of monuments, exhibition sites etc. Number 4 long lamp life 24000 hours. Number 5 excellent lumen maintenance. Number 6 wide range of lamp types with wattages ranging from 35 to 1000 watts number 7 it can be operated in any position 
with this i conclude my lecture thanks for listening